In number one, it says the diagram is a straight edge and compass construction. A is the center of one circle and B is the center of the other circle. Explain how we know that triangle ABC is equilateral. So one thing you need to make sure that you remember is what equilateral means. And equilateral means that all of these sides are the same length. So how do we know that all of those sides are the same length? So we know all three sides are formed by radii of circle A and B. So this AC is a radius of circle A. Um, BC is a radius of circle B and AB is a radius of both. So we know all three sides are formed by radii of circle A and B. Circle A and B are congruent. So all the radii are congruent as well, meaning all three sides of the triangle are equal lengths. So that's how we know that it is equilateral. Wouldn't have to put all the same words as me, but something about knowing the two circles are congruent and that all the sides are radii of those um, congruent circles, making it equilateral. All right, then number two says A, B, and C are centers of three circles. How many equilateral triangles are there in the diagram? So first, let's take a look at those three circles to see if they're the same size. Um, and so in order to tell if they're the same size, let me just make this a little bit smaller. Um, we would want to see that they share a radius. So segment AC is a radius in both circle A and circle C. And then segment CB is a radius in C and also in B. So those are the same size. So all three circles are exactly the same size. And so then we can start taking a look at where we see um, some equilateral triangles being formed. And so I'll just draw them in different colors here, but we've got H, C, A, these all. So A, H, and A, C are radii of circle A. C, H is a radius of circle C. So there's one equilateral triangle. Um, we've also got this one here, C, F, B, all radii. We also have this one kind of hiding in the middle here. A, B, A, C, and C, B are all radii. So that's an equilateral triangle. And then we have this one here. So that's four triangles. And then we actually have another one here that are formed by diameters. So H, F is a diameter of that circle. H, D is a diameter of circle A and DF is a diameter of circle C, so those sides are all exactly the same length as well. So the answer here would be that there are five equilateral triangles. Number three in the diagram um, is, the, sorry, the, this diagram is a straight edge and compass construction. A is the center of one circle, B is the center of the other. Select all of the true statements. So we see that these two triangles are the same size since they go through each other's centers. So circle A and circle B are exactly the same size. So let's take a look at some of these. Um, AC is equal to BC. That would be true because they're both radii. And we know that all the radii in this diagram are going to be equal. Um, AC is equal to BD. So here's AC again, and now we're looking at BD. BD is a radius, AC is a radius, so this is true. Um, CD is equal to AB, so here's CD is equal to AB. That is not true. CD is not a radius. ABCD is a square. So remember that a square needs to have equal sides and it needs to have equal angles, meaning each of the angles will be 90 degrees. So we do know that all the sides are the same because they're all radii, 
but we don't know about the equal angles. And we don't see, I mean, these do not even look like right angles, but so we don't have that. So that would not be true. Um, a, B, D is an equilateral triangle. So A, B, D, that would be true. A, B is a radius, B, D is a radius, and A, D is a radius. So this is true. And then finally, does CD, so let me erase some of this so we can look. Um, so does CD equal AB twice? Okay, so then this segment twice. So kind of what they're trying to get at is they're acting as if CD is a diameter because a diameter would be two radii. So if we had that AB segment and we were looking at something like this, that would be true. Okay, so a diameter is equal to two radii, um, but CD is not a diameter, so this one is false. All right, number four. So line segment CD is the perpendicular bisector of AB. So we know it's a perpendicular bisector, which means it hits at a 90 degree angle and M is the midpoint. So CD is the perpendicular bisector of AB. So AB is being split into equal parts. So M is the midpoint of AB. Is line AB then also the perpendicular bisector of CD? Okay, meaning is um, AB perpendicular to CD? Yes. Okay, the two segments are perpendicular. The other thing that needs to happen is M needs to be the midpoint of CD, the bisected segment. So is M the midpoint of CD? Are we seeing that it's breaking that segment into congruent pieces? And that is false. Okay, so no, we cannot conclude that. So no, AB is not the perpendicular bisector of CD. Has to satisfy both of those conditions. Number five, here are two points in a plane using only a straight edge. Okay, and remember a straight edge um, has no measurements on it. Can you find points in a plane that are the same distance from A and B? Okay, so a straight edge would just be like this. Okay, just a straight edge with no markings. So could we find points that are equidistant from A and B using only a straight edge? And the answer to that would be no, because of not being able to do um, measurements. Okay, so no, a straight edge can only connect um, points. So straight edge can only be used to connect points. It cannot actually do any measurements. Um, so using a compass, could we find points that are equidistant from A and B? And a compass um, can hold a length. Okay, it can't actually measure a length, but it can hold a length. So this would be yes. Um, and we would do that by drawing circles. So we could create two circles centered at A and B, both with um, a radius of AB. The intersections would be equidistant from A and B. Let me fix this typo here. So let me get a compass and remind us how to do that. So we could take this compass and we could um, set it on the two points. So open it to the width of the two points and then draw circles around um, each one. So we can draw this circle and then we can draw this, whoops. And then we can draw this circle. And then the intersection of those two 
circles is going to be the same distance from A as it is from B. So from here to here and here to here is the same and also there. So compass, you can. Straight edge, you can't. Number six, um, in this diagram, line segment CD is the perpendicular bisector. So let me highlight that. So CD is our perpendicular bisector. Um, assume the conjecture about uh, the set of points equidistant from A and B is the perpendicular bisector. So these blue, everything that's blue here is the same distance from A as B. So this is kind of like the middle line of our diagram. It cuts the diagram in half. Um, select all the statements that are true. Okay, so we're going to do the select all. Whoops. All right, so let's take a look at this first one. And the first one says that AM is equal to MB. Actually, let me do a different color for a second here. So AM is equal to MB. Remember, if this is the perpendicular bisector, M is the midpoint, meaning that these two pieces are the same. So that would be true. Um, CM, CM equal to DM. So is this segment equal to this one? And that we don't know because AB is not the bisector. AB is being bisected. So we don't know if AB is splitting this blue segment in half or not. Um, is EA equal to EM? Nothing to tell us that. Is EA greater than EB? So if we take a look here, so is this distance less than this distance? So is EA less than EB? And that is true. We know that because E is on the A side of this bisector. Okay, so if we look at this bisector, E is on the same side of A. And so let me type this out for us. Um, because E is on the same, is on the, I'm just going to put on the A side of CD. So it is closer to A than it is B. So that distance would be shorter. All right, so that one is true. Um, AM is equal to A, or sorry, is less than AB. So AM would be this segment here. Let me find a different color. So AM is this segment. Is this smaller than this? Yes, because A is on that segment. Okay, so A, or sorry, M is on that segment on the interior of it. Okay, so that's definitely going to be shorter. And then how about AM and BM? So AM is here, BM is here. So is AM greater than BM? No, we know that they're equal to each other. So one can't be bigger than the other. Number seven in the, um, the diagram is constructed with a straight edge and compass tools. Name all segments that are the same length as AC. So let's highlight AC here. So what segments are the same length as that? That's a radius. And so all other radii would be equal to that one in length. So AB is another radius. BE. And also ED. So this segment, this segment, and this segment would all be the same size. Number eight, um, if we started with just these um, first two points here, A and B, so if our drawing started with A and B, let's precisely describe the other moves we would have to make, okay? So first of all, if we are starting, um, if we're starting with A, so we would need to draw a circle around A. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is draw circle A and circle B. So draw two circles, okay, centered at A and B, both with a radius length of AB, okay, so A to B would be the radius, 
B to A would be the radius. Okay, so that's going to be our two circles. So we would draw those two circles. Um, then it looks like they labeled these two intersection points as C and D. So label the two intersection points of circle A and B as point C and D. So now we would have those um, points labeled and then they just connected all these segments. So um, connect segments A, um, C, C, B, B, D, and A, D. So those would be, let me move this so you can see it. So those would be our um, precise instructions. So draw two circles, one centered at A with radius AB, one centered at B with radius AB, label the intersections C and D, and then um, connect segments AC, CB, BD, and AD. Number nine, um, in the construction, A is the center of one circle, B is the center of another. Um, which segment has the same length? Whoops. Where are those dots on the end? Okay, so which segment has the same length as AB? So here is AB. AB is the radius of both of those two circles. So those two circles are the same size. So what other segment has the same length as that? So does CB have that same length? No, because C, CB is a diameter. Um, does CD have the same length? So CD is just a chord, not a radius, so that's not gonna be the same length. CE, again, is just another chord, so not the same length as a radius. Um, and then let's take a look at CA. So CA is a radius. It goes from center to edge. AB is a radius. And so that one would have the same length. 